Hey, what's going on guys? Today I have a unique knife of yesteryear to show you. This is the Piranha Trifold Knife. Uh, now this one is a little bit rare. I've heard multiple times that there was only 400 of these made and I've seen two different color versions. This one with the blue and black kind of splash design as well as I've also seen this in purple and black. Now the whole only 400 made, I don't know if that's 400 in total or if there's 400 of each color and if that's the case, what other colors were there? Don't really know, maybe you guys can chime in if you've been on the knife scene for a long time. Uh, but it is a little bit harder to find. However, this is not the only company that made this type of knife design. It's called the Trifold, which is a little confusing because there's other knives that have the Trifold name but really have a completely different um, you know, mechanism on how they function. For example, the cold steel trifold. All right, now that one, as if you guys are familiar with the knife, both uh, handle scales are stacked on top of each other, but there's a pivot down here. So the one handle scale comes this, this way, open, then the blade comes out from the top pivot and then the handle closes. I have a video on that if you search it, and there's plenty of other people who have videos on the cold steel trifold. And there's other brands that do that exact same design as well. Uh, this is completely different. So first I'm gonna show you this knife, all right? And I actually posted a picture on Instagram to see if people can guess, you know, how it works or if anyone's familiar with it. Now normally, when you see a knife like this and you don't really, you know, there's no flipper or thumb stud or anything, you just wanna grab the blade and pull it out. But you're not gonna be able to. First off, it's pretty polished, so it's super slick. There's no nail neck or anything like that. No way to grab that blade and pull it out. Um, and just looking at it, you might think that that is a button, maybe it's an automatic, but it's not. That is actually the oversized pivot, all right, you can see the hardware on the back. Um, and if you look at the spine here, also looks very strange. We have a little bit of that blade exposed, all right, and then the two handle scales. And you can also see there's a little divot there. It's not damaged or anything, it's supposed to be there. And if you didn't know how to open this, you might not be able to figure it out, at least not very quickly. So how this actually works is the handle scale swings open, okay? And it's a little bit difficult to do this, especially if you've never done it before, but you have to kind of grip the knife so that you can lift the top scale up and the bottom scale down, okay? So you're basically pulling these away. So using both your thumbs to pull it away. And as you're doing that, you're going to push the top scale towards you. See how they separated? There's a very strong bearing and detent. As I open this a little bit, you can see there's actually a reinforced uh, hole there for that detent to go into. So that is how this knife opens. And then of course, it will swing all the way open. And the same detent and hole will line up and click together. And now the knife is open. All right, and because this is a very polished blade, and I hate to see fingerprints and stuff, I'm wiping them off right now as I speak because it's super annoying when you have a very polished blade with lots of fingerprints. So, very, very cool design. Uh, once open, it's actually really, really comfortable. Piranha as a whole, you know, just as a company, I think they're extremely underrated. Uh, they often get overlooked. They make some really awesome automatic knives. I actually have a couple videos on different uh, models I've had over the year, uh, years, <laughs> the year, no, since the beginning. I've had a few different uh, Piranha Autos, and the one thing that always stood out to me is not only you know some unique designs and good quality, but they do a lot of higher polished stuff, and their aluminum is just like super, super smooth and so finished. It's just, it really, it, it's like nothing else on the market, honestly. Um, if you ever get a chance to pick up a Piranha brand knife, I highly recommend them. But this one is an old one, and it would be a lot harder to find. So uh, closing this is a little bit more dangerous because now we do have that exposed edge. But the same thing, we're going to separate these handle scales, okay? But in this case, we're going the opposite direction because we came this way to open it, you have to go back to close. It doesn't just continuously swing around, all right? And then of course, it's going to click shut. So that is the Piranha Trifold. Very, very interesting knife. If you guys have more information on this, you know, be sure to let everyone know as well as myself. Again, the whole 400 made kind of up in the air. I mean, I remember these, you know, way back when, but I don't know if I was paying attention when they first came out. If you guys like this design, this knife is going to be a lot harder to find. However, what is found all the time, but kind of on the expensive side, 
is the old PCC trifold. Now, if you're not familiar, PCC stands for Pacific Coast Cutlery, and that is what Benchmade was called before they changed their name to Benchmade. They have a trifold model, exact same design, um, different, you know, overall shape and everything, but it works exactly the same. You could find those quite frequently on eBay. They tend to be a little bit more expensive. I've seen them sell as low as 100, as high as $350. So it really depends on what you're looking to spend, but you know, it's pretty common to find them on eBay. There's like four or five at any given time. So they're definitely out there. Uh, they are quite unique. And that's one specific knife that I have on my radar that I would love to eventually get the collection. I just didn't, you know, haven't bitten the bullet and spent that much money on it yet. Um, but it's a really cool one. And of course, anything PCC is history because it was Benchmade before there was a Benchmade, which is pretty fascinating as well. So yeah, if you like that design, highly recommend looking at the PCC. I'll show you a picture of it right now so you can you know, see what it looks like. Like I said, they're on eBay. Obviously, if you hop on the knife forums and, and you know, ask people that you're looking to buy one, I'm sure there's plenty of collectors out there that have them as well. So that's all, just a quick blast in the past. A lot of people who are new to the scene, even in the last 10 years or so, probably have never seen this before. Um, I love showing knives that you guys can get for the obvious reason. If you like them, you can go get them pretty easily. Um, but it's still just as exciting for me to show knives that when I was, you know, in the knife scene and I was starting to learn all this stuff that I saw that you guys will never see because no one's talking about them. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.